the average programmer in the United States salary is 68K. And that ranges from 45 to 105K. So you can see there's a lot of opportunity for growth there. You might be considering yourself, is this something I want to do? So what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about the trade-offs of having a four-year degree in computer science versus going to a boot camp. And joining us is Nico Keen, who finished, uh, what, two years ago you graduated. Yep. And now you're in the workforce. And so he's going to kind of go through what are the trade-offs. So the first one that comes to mind is, of course, the cost. So how does that work out, Nico? Okay, so uh, boot camp is normally cost about uh, one year of college. So okay. here in North Carolina, a uh, four-year degree costs about 80K. Okay. So a uh, boot camp would be about 20K in that uh, comparison. Okay, so which one wins this one in our trade-off is obviously the boot camp. Yeah, that's pretty straightforward. The cheaper option is obviously the boot camp. Well, then, let's see how it plays out for time. I imagine it's going to be a similar story. Yes, so a four-year degree is obviously four years, whereas a uh, boot camp, uh, one I experienced, was about uh, three months. So about, once again, well, an eighth of the time. That was really intense, I imagine. Intense. Oh, yes, yeah, so a very intense three months. So it's... The intensity is obviously different, but in terms of time, that's obviously comes out ahead again. Awesome. Okay, so once you went through uh, the degree and you also went through the boot camp, how well prepared do you feel for the workforce? How did that compare and contrast? Okay, so for a degree program, they go over lots of the uh, technologies and mindsets that you're going to be using. For example, uh, test-driven development. And uh, the IGL mindset, those are things that they emphasized uh, heavily and things that uh, in my workplace that I've found are uh, often used. Uh, for a boot camp, they use some of the testing uh, technologies such as Jenkins, which the degree program does it well, but those were mostly used as a uh, grading technology. Where but they were still testing, though, yes. in the boot camp. Yes. But you're saying is it a different level or you did your own unit tests? So it... Boot camp, it was mostly used as just to verify that your code was working correctly, but you yourself was, were not generally responsible for creating the tests. You could review them if you wanted to and if you understood them, but it was still uh, more... The you, time trade-off. Yes. Fair enough. Okay, so the winner in this case? Um, in this case, I'd say it'd be here because this has the uh, same technologies as that boot camp provides, but in a greater depth. Well, the all-important interview. Uh, you had to do interviews once you graduated from college and went through this boot camp. How did you think the process prepared you for the interview, one versus the other? Uh, so for the degree program, I spent a great deal of time learning, but something that's pretty, probably every programmer has experienced, the uh, imposter complex, it's really hard to overcome, even with all that time spent learning just because it's uh, over a wider period of time. So that's, even as I graduated, I still felt a little bit kind of uh, uncertain or wary during uh, interviews with the boot camp. Because it's so focused, you know all the material that you just covered like that and you are very confident. So it gives you a certain boost when you leave it and are then getting interviewed by people who want to know about what you just did because you just did it you like it's very focused one thing that's really common in interviews today for programmers is to do live coding interviews was that something you did as well yes so there were a good number of places i went to where that was on the table and how did this prepare you one versus the other so for the degree program they went over the concepts and so in a way that prepared you for the live interview, but for the boot camp, because it's heavily focused on coding, the practice that you uh, acquire there is uh, very helpful to a uh, live uh, code example. Well, plus also you had three months where you're really heads down and exactly. imagine that made it a lot easier to mail it, right? Mm -hmm. Excellent. So the structure of these programs is quite different. Ah, yes. Give us a check mark here. Yes. Ah, okay. And the structure of these programs is quite different four year versus boot camp. Can you kind of give me an examples of how those two compare? Okay, yeah, sure. Um, so for the degree program, it's 
is they really are essentially trying to teach you how to think, how to approach a problem. So it's about giving you that fine foundational mindset. Whereas uh, with the uh, boot camp, it's more about getting you heads down into the code and just getting, making sure that you understand every aspect of the specific technology that's there uh, trying to teach you. So, so you really felt like you were prepared for the coding aspect, but you're saying in a college degree, you had a, a wider base to build on. Yeah. That's, would that be accurate? Yes. So it made it easier to uh, learn new things because once they teach you how to approach the problem, it's you know how to approach the problem. And that's right. And you also had several different languages that you're learning yes. at university. And that probably made it easier if you had to adapt once you were in the field. Exactly. Because uh, once you know... We're going to give the check mark to who? I'd say go to the degree program just because once you have that adaptability from knowing you're having a really strong foundation, it's very easy to use on a wider scale. You have projects during university, of course, and you had a project as well at the boot camp. Let's talk about your senior project and your boot camp final project. How did they compare and contrast? What were they about? Um, so for the final project for the degree program, we had a unique opportunity where we were able to work with a real world uh, company. And so essentially they came to us with a problem, which they then asked us to solve. They didn't have a specific approach. Uh, approach they needed us, so it was widely left up to us on how we were going to solve it for them. What kind of company was it? Uh, this was a carpet company. Carpet, okay. And when did you help this carpet company? What problem were you solving for them? Um, so for them, the problem they had was essentially that people would uh, take their carpet samples to compare them at home, and then they'd never return them, and the cost for that would add up. <laughs> That's hard to imagine people don't return things. That's fine. So you almost had kind of like a library? Is that what the deal was? Yeah, essentially. Basically, what we were doing was, like you said, a kind of instead of a book uh, check-in, check-out system, it was a carpet sample check-in, check-out system. So that they knew exactly who uh, had it and for how long and when they needed to hunt you down for it. And the boot camp, what was their project about? And how was it different from this project? So the boot camp essentially gave us a list of uh, possible categories, essentially, where you could... Uh, have a technolo this technology for the front end, this technology for the back end, uh, what kind of project it was. There was a heavy focus on uh, app-based uh, projects because we were specifically attempting to learn React. Uh, for a mobile phone. Yes. Uh, so, for example, the project, final project that my group came up with, we came up with a uh, essentially a book scanning app that would uh, take a picture of your uh, bookshelf and then categorize uh, the books you had and give you an idea of which books you owned versus uh, potential ones that you might want in the future. It might also offer you some insights about what you really enjoy without you really knowing it necessarily. Exactly. It also gave you various statistics on the books that you had. So like uh, authors, uh, sub subjects. That would have been cool to put that in the app store. You should consider that. Yeah, that would well, be a good idea. Okay, so let's go ahead and close. You get the last word. Not thing right? regarding the projects. So they were uh, kind of hard to compare, but... Maybe both get checked. Yes. So maybe this one for being practical and this one for being yes. technology. Because this one gave you the real world experience, whereas this one, the greater freedom, meant that you had were able to integrate what you had just learned and kind of make it your own in a way. Maybe a little more fun, too. Yeah, in a bit. So you get the final word on advice. And if you have people watching right now who are thinking about a four-year degree versus a boot camp, what would you give them to decide between these two? What, what is really the takeaway? Um, so for takeaway, I'd say is a degree is essentially going to, like I said, teach you how to think. It makes it very easy to adapt. And if you are in the field, then it and you decide you want to move into this particular uh, direction versus this one, it makes it much easier, that much easier prospect. You have a wider base. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, for a boot camp, however, it gets you very familiar in how to code. And so in that one specific field, you will be very confident and very experienced. Well, a quick follow-up question. You mentioned in your boot camp, were there people who were in the same boat, some who had had degrees and were using the boot camp as a way, or were there people who had no degrees at all? What was the mix? 
Um, and it was about a healthy mix of both with a fair number of people who had actually very little to none experience with uh, programming. So that's actually something that I would kind of recommend if you were someone who didn't have either of these things and weren't considering. If you wanted to just get into the field and had a very specific idea of what field you wanted, then the boot camp would be a good cost and time effective way to do that. But if you were thinking of like a longer term kind of thing, where you might uh, spend years in this particular field, but then move on to a different project where you might be expected to do something else, then the degree might be worth the time because it's very easy to adapt there. Excellent. Okay, well, that's great advice. Thank you very much, Nico, for giving us uh, kind of a rundown of four-year degrees for boot camps. For those who are watching, if there are other topics you'd like to touch on, be sure and leave us in the comments below. And thanks again for joining us.